All right, what's up everyone? Sean here, and today in this video, I'm gonna actually be doing a reaction video with the Pokemon Direct. Um, I've already got some uh, info on it. Um, one of them being that it's a very short Direct. It's like six minutes, and I think a lot of people were waiting, and they, this is what all, um, all what they got. And there's already some leaked information, such as Pokemon Sun and Moon, which is kind of unfortunate because it probably seems to me the majority of this direct but however uh we haven't gotten too much info about it other than the name and the logo for it so and also all the parodies on that um pretty freaking uh, hilarious and um i haven't seen the video myself it's six minutes so why not won't take too long right so let's go for it All right, classic, classic. Got the the gray brick Game Boy, which is something I had when I was a kid. Definitely. Oh, that's clever. That's cute. Oh, he picked on Ditto. Oh, he wanted to adjust some sounds. There we go. Oh, look at all those Pokemon games in the back. I actually have Hello, everyone. I'm Ishihara from the have uh, blue and green at some point. Here at the Pokemon Company's office in the Ropongi district of Tokyo, and I would like to directly ah uh, some news to all of you. February twenty seventh, nineteen ninety six was the day when the original Pokemon games, Pokemon Red and Pokemon Green were released in Japan. 96, that's uh, such a long time ago. exactly 20 years since that day. When Pokemon Red and Pokemon Green were first released on the Game Boy, the Pokemon were depicted as pixel art on a monochromatic screen, but the hardware has now evolved to the point that players can adventure along the Pokemon that God, that's so crazy. graphics on the Nintendo 3DS. To commemorate the 20th anniversary today, I have prepared an all-new video to show you. Please take a look. Celebrating all Pokémon trainers. It is kind of mind-blowing that it's been 20 years, man. I was definitely six years old when I first got my copy of um, Pokemon. I played uh, blue version, uh, but I actually did play the green version. Uh, we had it imported back in the day, which was awesome. Of course, I was in Japanese, so it was kind of hard for me to play the game, but I still had a lot of fun with it. And once it came out in English, I was stuck on that for a very long time and fell in love with Pokemon ever since. Um, starting with the Japanese version, of course. But it pretty much sealed my love for it. I, I'm still, you know, a huge Pokemon fan. And now we get games like Pokemon coming out relatively soon and we got Pokemon Go coming sometime I really can't wait looking really forward to um, what po Pokemon has in store oh wow I just saw a vehicle Pokemon Moon. Which might just be available worldwide in nine languages. <laughs> That's fine. Available in nine languages. As you saw in the video, the all new Pokemon game. That's the way it sounded. Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. Of course. Will be released on the Nintendo 3DS All day 2016, okay. In 2016. Okay. And Pokemon X, Y, Omega Ruby, and Alpha Sapphire 
players could choose to play in one of these seven languages. And with Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon, in order to allow for even more people to enjoy the games, we have added both traditional and simplified Chinese to the language options. Dang. Players can select from any of these nine languages right when they begin playing the game. Now I'm guessing this is a uh, text language, of course. We hope that through Pokemon, players can overcome language barriers and interact with other players from around the world. Oh. The original Pokemon Red, Pokemon Blue, and Pokemon Yellow will be available on the Nintendo eShop as digital distributions tomorrow. Oh man, the classics. The Pokemon series continues to evolve alongside Nintendo's hardware. Connectivity between the games has also evolved. From of course. using the Game Boy Link cable, to wireless, to communicating via the internet. I remember those Again, things for the Game Boy Advance. Advance games, we made it possible for you to take the Pokemon you caught and bring them over to the next generation of games, even if they were on different hardware. However, we were never able to solve the communication issues with the Game Boy, and it was not possible to bring Pokemon from the Game Boy games over to games on other hardware. That's why I'm happy to announce that the new digital distributions of Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow will take advantage of the online Pokemon storage service, Pokemon Bank. That oh. way, you can bring them over to your Pokemon Sun or Pokemon Moon game. Oh, that's kind of cool. ...in the eShop versions of the games and give them a chance to shine in Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. Of course, we have many new ways for you to enjoy Pokemon this year for our 20th anniversary, but we will also endeavor to create more and more fun new experiences in the future. So please look forward to what's to come. Thank you for watching. Okay, that is pretty much it. Um, makes me kind of glad that I did not watch or watch this at 7 in the morning because that's when it was actually aired in my time, I think. I could be wrong. But, um, yeah. So, what from what we got, let me just look back on this just in case. Let me just mute this. Um, so, pretty much all we got was just some edited video of, like, a compilation of all the Pokemon games that came out like over the years and um, of course Pokemon Sun and uh, Moon these two guys right here which was already leaked um, and I kind of expected a little more info from it um, like at least one new Pokemon from it like the legendaries or something but um really can't say which version I'm gonna get um, I'm actually maybe looking towards uh, Sun but again I mean we don't even know what the legendaries look like and I just really want to see more from it um, it seems promising Sun and Moon it seems like a good idea um, and again I really love to see what the new experiences are in this game um, I've had a lot of fun with Omega Ruby and also uh, X, uh, Pokemon X, X and Y. Um, yeah, so I, I'm just, I'm just really looking forward to Sun and Moon uh, coming out in the holidays. And unfortunately, we didn't get anything else other than just these two uh, Pokemon games. Uh, I was really hoping to see some like Pokemon or. Um, uh, Detective Pikachu or something. I don't know. Ah, uh, that was it was kind of dry. But all we we just got. Um, honestly, we only got announcements announcements that we already knew. Unfortunately, through um, due to some leaks um, pretty recently. But um, what's what was presented here? I do like the idea that you know now that you have the the Pokemon Blue, Red, Red, and Yellow. Uh, coming to 3DS, you can use the Pokemon server, or Pokemon Bank, um, to store your Pokemon and then transfer it over to the upcoming Sun and Moon, which is a really good idea because, like you know, there's a lot of people 
out there that love Gen 1 Pokemon. Uh, obviously, I started from Gen 1. And, you know, they want to you know, import, uh, bring those to the newest Pokemon games and see uh, see them in that, you know, 3D format or whatever. Um, I think that's a cool idea. And, uh, unfortunately, I was kind of looking forward to, like, being able to take it straight from the cartridge somehow and then transfer it to the Pokemon Bank and then, um, you know, so on and so forth. But, you know, obviously it's a little more difficult and, um, and all that stuff. Um, I mean, it's kind of neat that we're getting it in different languages. That's, that's cool. But other than that, there's really not much else to talk about. Um, we can only speculate so much about it, too. Sun and moon. Um... Uh, I'm definitely not gonna say that you know. Oh, we have to play Pokemon Sun during the day to get the most out of it, like the you know, um, to get your get this certain Pokemon, or um, or you have to play at night to um, you know, do the same thing or get get the same similar result. Um, it's. Really hard to say what's going to be like the core feature of these two games. So, other than that, um, it's cool that we're getting a new Pokemon game. Uh, I, I I would love to get uh, one of these two versions. Um, again, I'm maybe looking forward to uh, Sun. But again, I have to see the legendary Pokemon. And really, really see uh, where, uh, where it goes from there. Um... And I would love to see what the starting Pokemon would look like. But hey, at least we have uh, Pokemon Blue, Red, and Yellow to look forward to. Uh, especially for those um, new Pokemon fans to experience it. Uh, well, actually, let me actually go back and see all the little hints that we got. All right, so there, we got some artists working on some concepts and stuff like that. So here, yeah, this is what caught my attention. So we have we have these vehicles right here, which can potentially mean that we can ride these vehicles, like we can drive vehicles or ride vehicles. So, so they kind of be like be like taxis or something like that. Um, to trans um, transport to other places and stuff like that. I don't think we can drive ca actual cars, um, you know, in a game, obviously, because you know, you, the, usually the protagonist is around like ten years old or like fourteen or something like that, um, around that age. So we can't actually, uh, obviously can't drive the vehicles. So I don't think we're gonna go into that sort of thing but let me just see if there's any other things that let me uh set that to like half speed so that way i don't have to have a much easier time so we have uh some just like just a bunch of level of level designs concept art or for the background and stuff like that for the setting um might be one of the older pokemon probably hmm this could potentially be one of the new pokemon i have no idea i mean it's a bird oh yeah, okay, so I didn't catch that. The color scheme, just a little bit. So, might be something... No, no, it's a bird. It's some kind of bird. Um, yeah, we can see the talons right there. Um, the beak is right here. And, yeah, we got, obviously, the head. And then that's the back of the head, tail. Um, and, obviously, I can't read Japanese too well. All right. 
So yeah, we, that's all we got, I think. Just uh, vehicles and possibly a new Pokemon. One of the starting Pokemon, who knows. Um, one of them may be a bird. So, I don't know. Uh, all right, yeah, that, that's definitely, uh, that'll definitely be it for this um, Pokemon Direct reaction slash impressions on it, thoughts, opinions, whatever. Uh, if you have if you have any comments, uh, li please leave them down below. I would love to read them. And really looking forward to more info on Pokemon Sun and Moon. Um, I'll try to um, maybe do some update videos or something like that, like I did with Sonic Boom so long ago. I don't uh, such a funny thing to say. But anyways, uh, until then, I will see y'all later in the next video. Peace.